Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. the men. <laughs> when the men see you in that dress, it'll take their breath away. Well, I hope not. If this gets me a man, I want one that's still breathing. <laughs> and here's the stole I promised to lend you. Oh, it's lovely. Why, it's genuine mink. This must have cost a fortune. How could you afford this? Oh, well, I didn't buy it alone. Six of us chipped in, and we each get to use it one day a week. <laughs> oh. What does it do on the seventh day, rest? <laughs> yes, and boy, does it need it. Well, I'm certainly lucky that your day is Saturday. Oh, no, my day is Tuesday. I switched with Mildred. Oh, Mildred's day is Saturday. No, her day is Wednesday. <laughs> but Mildred switched with Roselle, whose day is Thursday. And Roselle switched with Irving. <laughs> Irving? Irving's a bachelor. He uses it for date bait. <laughs> oh, baby, if you could only talk. <laughs> you're sure you're going to be able to get this for me for Saturday? Oh, sure, but I have to get it over to Ella for tomorrow. But Ella has a date with Irving, so that saves us a day. <laughs> but don't worry, honey. You'll get it by Saturday night. Oh, well, okay. I, I really want to thank you, Mary Jane. And I guess I should also thank Mildred and Roselle and Ella and Irving. <laughs> I feel like I just won an Academy Award. <laughs> well, if they give an award at that affair for the most beautiful girl, you'll win it. Oh, I don't know about that. But I do want to look nice because it's going to be a lot of very eligible bachelors oh, there, yeah, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. What's, what's the banquet for, Lucy? Well, it's the 50th anniversary of the founding of the bank. And the guest of honor will be the president of the entire organization, Mr. Cornelius Hetherington, Jr. Oh, the name even sounds rich. Oh, he is. He's worth millions. He has two yachts. He has homes all over the world. New York, Paris, Hawaii. Well, is he married? No. That's what I call an eligible bachelor. Well, he's also 80 years old. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could use another man in my life, but I'd prefer a little more life in my man. <laughs> I'm going to get this off. I don't want to get it wrinkled. Yeah, well, I have to rush this over to Edith. Edith? Who's Edith? Oh, well, she's the sixth owner, and she's got a heavy date tonight. You know something? I envy that mink. It's dead, and it goes out more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you'd better remind the musicians that we expect them to be there at 7.30. The dinner starts promptly at 8. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, be sure and check with the florist, too. Yes, sir. Now, I want you to follow through on every single detail. This is a very important affair. I don't want anything to go wrong. Now, don't you worry. Just leave everything to me. <laughs> That's what worries me. <laughs> Nothing will go wrong, Mr. Mooney. Well, I certainly hope not. You know, I'm so excited about this banquet. I spent two weeks' salary on a new gown. Mrs. Mooney spent three weeks' salary on a new gown. I didn't know she worked. My salary. <laughs> So she bought herself one of these new evening gowns with a mini skirt. Oh, how does she look? Grotesque. <laughs> 
Miss Mooney, you can't blame her for wanting to wear the latest style. True, true, but mini skirts are not for her. No. No, no, she's much too bow-legged. <laughs> if you ever straightened her legs out, she'd be seven feet tall. <laughs> Well, uh, is there anything else that you want me to take care of, sir? Uh, no, I, I think that covers everything. Oh, by the way, uh, while you were out, the manager of the banquet hall called regarding the color scheme of the decoration. Oh, yes? And I told him to do everything in gold and green. Gold and green? Yes, sir. That sounds like a peculiar combination. No. But very appropriate. You see, I picked gold because it's the bank's golden anniversary, and I picked green because it's every banker's favorite color. <laughs> that is entirely too obvious. Obvious? It's, yes, it's almost poor taste. Now, you get in touch with the banquet hall and have those colors changed to pink and purple. <laughs> Pink and purple, yuck! <laughs> Pink and purple happen to be my old school colors. Oh. Now get in touch with them and have those colors oh, changed. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, Mooney? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. yes, sir. Mooney, an emergency has come up, and I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to give up your lunch hour. That's quite all right, sir. Anything to help out, sir? Well, I was scheduled to pick up Mr. Hetherington at the airport. However, a crisis has arisen, and I have called a meeting in my office immediately with all the important vice presidents. I'll be right in, sir. Not yes. you. <laughs> you go to the airport. Uh, oh, and uh, Mooney, you better bring your secretary along, too. Mr. Hetherington might want to dictate some letters on his way from the airport. Yes, sir. Oh, and yes. uh, Mooney, there's one thing yes, more. Sir. Yes, sir. I want you to decorate the banquet hall in Mr. Hetherington's favorite school colors, gold and green. <laughs> gold and green. Well, I have already ordered those colors, sir. Really? Well, that was a lucky guess. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a guess, sir. When I'm given an assignment, I check things thoroughly. Nothing gets past me, sir. Well, good thinking, Mooney. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Just one word, you're fired. number 234, now arriving from Honolulu at gate 10. Is that oh, it? That's it, that's Mr. Oh, Henry. Oh, really? To I'm so home. excited. Is my hair combed? Do I look all right? Oh, yes, How's my lipstick? Is fine. my lipstick on straight? You look, yes, you look perfect. I want to make a good impression on Mr. Hetherington. Look, he's just going to dictate to you, not propose. Well, I, I've never met a millionaire before. I just want to look my best. Well, millionaires, just like anybody else. You just treat them like normal human beings. Yeah, I know. of the bank, but a slight bow from the waist would have been sufficient. <laughs> oh, well, I, I'm sorry, sir, but I tripped. Uh, I'm afraid it was all my fault. And uh, who is this charming young lady? Oh, uh, this is my secretary, Mrs. Carmichael. Oh, how do you do, uh, sir? <laughs> the pleasure is all mine. Thank you. Uh, you have excellent taste in secretaries, Mooney. Oh. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> I uh, trust you had a pleasant flight, sir. Oh, fine. I chartered the whole plane. The whole plane? Yep. That way I get the three stewardesses all for myself. <laughs>
Dorothy, I'll be all right. Oh, good. Where's Mr. Mooney? Oh, he stepped out for a moment. He ought to be, though. There he is. Oh, uh, Mr. Mooney, did you pick up Mr. Hetherington at the airport? Oh, yes, sir. Did you get him back to his hotel? Yes, sir, and he's very happy with his accommodation, sir. Well, good. Let us hope that he will be as, as happy with the lady you have selected for him to escort to the banquet tonight. The lady? <laughs> yes. But, uh, but, but uh, you, you didn't say anything about a lady, sir. Well, I didn't think it was necessary. You said that when you were given an assignment, you checked things thoroughly. <laughs> and if you had, you would have known that Mr. Hetherington never attends a social function unless he escorts a lady. Uh, well, sir, I didn't think that a man of his age would be interested in the opposite sex. <laughs> Mooney, he is old, not dead. <laughs> Now, I expect you to provide a lady for him. Well, that shouldn't be too difficult, sir. I'm quite sure one of our charming female employees would be happy to go with him. Wouldn't you, Mrs. Carmichael? <laughs> me? Yes, you. And give me one good reason why not. I don't like it. Oh, that's a good reason. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael is too young and attractive. That's true. <laughs> We can't have the president of the bank seem like a playboy. Oh, you're quite right, sir. No. We've got to have someone closer to his own age. Someone refined and wealthy and dignified and keeping with his position. Well, I'll do my best, sir. I promise you. I don't want promises. I want results. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh. We better do something fast or we're in trouble. Oh, yes, we are. Uh, what do you mean, we? If anything happens to me, your job is none too secure. You know? <laughs> now, do you know a refined, dignified, wealthy old lady? If I did, I'd have her adopt me. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, I want help, not jokes. Well, I'd help you if I could. It's not my fault. I'm too young. Yes, it is. You are late for everything. You were even born late. If I were an old lady, I'd be very honored to go with Mr. Hetherington. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mooney, what are you thinking? If you're thinking what I think you're thinking, then I don't think I like what you're thinking. All we need is a little gray hair and a makeup job. Oh, Mr. Mooney! Now you're not going to send me on a date with that Don Juan of the Stone Age. You will make a lovely little old lady. But I can. You I... can and you will. <laughs> salary and a beautiful new dress. And no, I'm not going to get to wear it. That's not being fair. All right, all right. I'll be fair. I'll give you a choice. All right. Either you'll be an old lady or you'll be an unemployed lady. <laughs> condition for a man of your age. What do you mean, a man my age? Why, I'm in better shape than you are. Look at you. You look like a paunchy penguin. <laughs> hey, where's Mooney and my date? Oh, well, they'll be along later, sir. Uh, tell me, what, uh, what kind of a gal is she? Uh, is she pretty? Does she have a good figure? Well, I don't know. I haven't met her. However, if Mr. Mooney selected her, sir, you may rest assured that she is refined, dignified, honest, friendly, Wholesome and trustworthy. What's she getting me, a date or a Boy Scout? <laughs> oh, I'm sure you'll like the one that he has to... Oh, here they are. Come in, come in. Mooney, you're late. Oh, well, sir, I... And you're alone. Oh, no, no, sir. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. Come on. Come on, come on. Uh, she's uh, a little shy, sir. <laughs> Uh, 
Mrs. Abigail Vandermeer, may I present Mr. Harrison Cheever? How do you do? <laughs> Very pleased to meet you. And uh, <clears throat> your escort for the evening, Mr. Cornelius Hetherington, Jr. Hello, Junior. <laughs> the pleasure is all mine. Uh, do come in, please. Yes, sir. Uh, who, uh, who's to sit down? Yeah. Uh, sir, it's getting late. Don't you think we had best leave for the banquet? Yeah, let's go. No, 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 Rush. No, Rush. The banquet can wait. Uh, first, I think we ought to get better acquainted. Oh, that's a very yeah. good idea. Yeah. I said we, not you. <laughs> yes, we'll see you later, Mooney. You too. Oh, but I... Go on, get, 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 the both oh. of you. Skedaddle. Oh. <laughs> hey, if you're not there, start without us. <laughs> We're alone, we can get on with it. Get on with what? <laughs> what did you have in mind, Junior? <laughs> now we can get to know each other better. Oh, how much better? Uh, first, tell me, uh, is your name Miss Vandermeer or Mrs.? Mrs. Oh. <laughs> I'm a widow. Oh! <laughs> uh, tell me, are you rich? Filthy. <laughs> You're the kind of a girl I've been waiting for all my life. That's a long time. <laughs> yes, sir. You know something else? Uh, I think you and I could make beautiful music together. Uh, uh, say, uh, 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 I, I, are you r really 80 years old? Heck no, I'm 90. <laughs> Well, don't you think you better cool down a little? When you're 90, if you cool down, the fire goes out. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You better cool down, Junior. I'll put your fire out for good. I'm just trying to make conversation. Well, make it from over there. I'm not hard of hearing. <laughs> you know, you're so beautiful when you get your dander up. You get my dander up any further, and I'll take away your rattle. <laughs> Say, I, I got an idea. Oh, not another one. Oh, you <laughs> like this one. You see, how, how about a little drinky? All righty, how about a little warm milky? <laughs> I was thinking of something stronger than that. Uh, how about some champagne, huh? That's too strong. The bubbles knock me down. <laughs> Keep knocking me. Oh, say, <laughs> that's a dilly. Oh. Oh. Now, you keep your distance, you understand? Come on, honey. Give me a little kiss. I'm going to give you nothing. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, <laughs> You're younger than I am. You're right. Why don't you act your age? <laughs> Heck, that's no fun. Yahoo! Here we go. <laughs> if you don't stop chasing me, I'm going to punish you. How? Oh. I'm going to let you catch me. Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> You better pucker up, honey. Here I come. <laughs> You're a frisky little devil. <laughs> but I like him that way. Yahoo! <laughs> I think you're trying to avoid me. <laughs> Come and get me, Buster. Get your I'm taking your vitamins. <laughs> Two and
Jesus, that was no way to treat the president of a bank. Well, maybe not, but it was the only way to treat a wolf. <laughs> How much of a wolf could he be? He's over 80. That's the worst kind. He's had all those years of experience. <laughs> oh, it couldn't have been that bad. You haven't spent an evening being Yahoo! <laughs> Nevertheless, you had no right to let him go to that banquet alone. Fortunately, he hasn't complained. Yeah, well, I'm complaining. I spent two weeks' salary on a beautiful new dress, and I didn't even get to wear it. Well, that is... Mr. Mooney's office. Yes, Gladys? Mr. Hetherington's on his way in to see Mr. Mooney. Thank you, Gladys. Uh, what did he want? I hope he isn't mad. What would he want to see me for? I don't know. Oh, what I hope there's no trouble. You, about. you never know what you. Oh! <laughs> Mr. Hetherington's. <I'm... laughs> Mooney, why can't you learn to just bow from the waist? <laughs> terribly sorry. Uh, won't you sit down? No, uh, thanks. No, thanks. I just dropped in to say goodbye. Oh, oh, you're leaving. Yep, but I'll be back in a couple of months, and I want you to get the same date for me. The same date? Yep. She was a real swinger. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll do my best, sir. Yeah, well, thanks again. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Yeah. Well, Mrs. Carmichael. Yes, sir. You make the swingin'est little old lady, I can hardly wait! <laughs>